And welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. Happy New Year to you. It is finally the year 2023, and we're still looking the way we are, uh, and feeling the way we are, too. Anyway, um, just a little under the weather. Uh, my name is Avian Savage. Thank you very much for returning back to one of my um, videos here on my channel uh, with the Dark Cosmic Universe. Uh, recently, I did update uh, with uh, my Instagram, so please check it out. Um, we've got a lot of fallout from what occurred. So, just a quick recap. Yes, our boy Brainoid the Custom by Strafe7 uh, uh, 2.0 um, decided to go and look for Otto's, or the armor of Otto, and he attempted to take control of it. Didn't happen. So, but that's okay. Because the the um, the plot thickens on that. Um, while we do that, uh, we will we'll talk about that in a little bit. I'll put the figures to the side, and as always, uh, we're going to do a uh, toy reveal. Today we've got the Treasure X Robots Gold. Remove the rust, build a robot. This puppy is huge. Let me tell you, the box itself. Real quick, tail tail the numbers here or tail the tape. It's about 10 inches tall, uh, going across approximately, you know, four inches wide. It's got some serious weight to it. These are pretty fun. Again, I have no idea what's inside, neither do you. So that's what makes it the fun part. Now, I kind of had to do a little preview looking into of how to disassemble this box and what I'm going to need. So that's why I got things tried to be prepared as possible. And that's always a good thing in life, too. Hey, speaking of being prepared, check it out. Got this character. This is from last year, I believe. It's the Voodoo Ranger. How you doing, Voodoo Ranger? Hey, pretty good, man. What are you building today? Building a robot. I like robots. You know, it's kind of funny because our buddy Otto over here, um, he is going to be controlling a planet from Mazion. That's his big deal. Wait a minute, man. I heard that before. Isn't that from... Um, Hey, did you take that from the video game Berserk? Maybe. Maybe got inspired by it. Why not? No one else has. But, but, but that is, all right, never mind. So yeah, uh, anyway, so I kind of did a little heads up on this. Um, that's why I kind of got things prepared here. Got a big bowl. We got water going on here. So water, electricity, YouTube craziness. Not a good combination. Now me getting this upstairs, that's going to be another story. So I suggest that you get a large bowl. You can bring the kids and check us out because it's going to be stuff all over the place. Now I got my favorite two liter uh, Pepsi, not sponsored. Wish I was, um, but uh, I like having a little Pepsi here. We got some clear liquid water because we're going to be soaking one of these uh, robotic bodies. I have no idea what, which ones we're getting, but we'll see as we open it up. And again, I do thank everyone for joining in. Thank you for subscribing. Got some pickups and new subscribers. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Again, um, let's go dig into this. Now, I'm not sure we checked out the backside. Again, I love, tells you out there's 15 levels here. I can only get past maybe two today. Now, I'll, I'll get to it. Um, the robots on here are pretty cool. Uh, I did get this as a Christmas gift, so um, we're just gonna dig right into it. And I'm gonna suggest that Patience is a virtue with these things because, you know, kids want to open these things up. Or even the adult game plan. I'm just saying. The adults want to open this thing up. You know they do. Um, this is my first time digging into one of these large ones. I usually get the smaller ones. Um, but it was a Christmas gift. So you know what? I'm going to completely enjoy it. And be completely... Sh um, got the, the... There's the... What's going on? We got there. I'll be definitely frustrated too. And again, I do apologize. Still getting over the old uh, magic C word. That's right, it's still around, buddies. After uh, a couple of years, the C is still available. All right, so here is where the robot comes in. It's a uh, blue container, let's check it out. This is pretty cool in itself. Very robotic in nature. This is gonna be an awesome display piece. I'm gonna be looking for more of these. Of course, you know where I'm going. Uh, I'll be going to um, I'll be going to the ever popular place called, what is it? That's right, the thrift stores. All right, so now what we're gonna do, I did this specifically because I'm gonna 
take the character of the robot. Again, you have no idea what it is. Uh, we got to take some off of his uh, this gold rust or whatever it is. Here's the tool. Uh, we're going to use the tool to pop the robot out eventually, but I'm going to take the tool off. Um, this is supposed to pop up. No, it's not. Okay, I'm just going to put him in there. So check it out. We're going to soak the robot in there and going to have some rust going on. And we're going to have some floating too. Flotation device going on. Now this is pretty cool. Again, um, I love the design of it. Could have been a little more translucent, but um, it's like four inches top. It looks like a transformer. Um, a lot of people have been saying it looks like Iron Man. Okay, but it's still it's Treasure X. And for all the Treasure Rex people out there who enjoy these, you know what? Thank you very much for following along. And uh, I enjoy these as much as, uh, you know, I enjoy finding these things. Um, and there's uh, two boxes here and a collecting tube. So, but there are certain ones that I do look out for. And I can see why the, the popularity grows with us. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get the robot in here, mix them with a little bit of the water. The rust should come off. It's going to look a little like... Uh, like if you were mixing a drink of Goldschlager, because there's going to be some uh, bits of gold-ish stuff that are going to start swirling around here soon. Um, let me see. Have we got any swirls? Yeah, we got. Oh yeah. Can you see it? Oh my gosh! I have to bring it up to the camera. So yes, yes, yes. It's starting to flow. It looks like a bad fish bowl. Gotta love it. You know when you feed your fish, but you forget to clean out the bowl, and you got all the extras in there. So we're gonna just gonna kind of give a little swirl, swirl, swirl because that's what you got to do with your robot and some of the rust is going to start coming off sometimes i've seen some really creative ways of how the people get the, the rusting off the um and uh, i'm actually starting to see some coloring that's pretty cool um but you know again it's that whole i can see why they do what they do here uh in the process we're just going to start breaking open i'm i could use the tool here you know what i guess I wouldn't be a legit Treasure X person if I didn't use the exact tools. And of course, my frustration is going to happen too because um, they are plastic and they're really cool. Now, again, it's just, you know, there's some perforated edges here that we can actually get through. And the tool is kind of useful. So to be a Treasure X person, a legit one, and to be accepted by the um, fans, I guess I have to do that. So it's going to reveal some stuff here. And I see some green on the top. Uh, we will figure out who... I think we know who this is by the green. But um, here we go. Let's take a look at... Uh, before we spoil that. Let's take a look at the robots that you could possibly get. Now that we know that we've seen it. Again, here's the, here's the map you get. And all the different parts and pieces that you're supposed to be digging for your robot. And um, pretty cool. You know, again, it's a cool idea. Here are some of the robots that you may or may not get. We got Robocroc, we've got uh, Gold Web, um, Blind, is it, our Bling Jarred, Robo Jaws, Scorpion, Gold, Golodar, and then you can mix and match, which is kind of cool. Great idea that you guys can do that. And I think we have the Crocodile one, is that what he is? I think he is. Let's take a look. That's what the helmet is looking like. But in the process, are we getting any of this, this gold coming off? It is starting to flake off. It surely is, and I think that's about it. Again, it's, it's pretty sad that, you know, uh, get all this kind of goopy waste. It's going to all go down. Uh, I think we are going to get Rolo Croc in it. So that seems to be, um, for what I've seen from the videos, seems to be the more common one, so that's okay. Uh, but it was an awesome Christmas gift, and Treasure X is fun to play with and build. And here are some of the parts and pieces um, that have started to pop out. We've got a helmet. Um, I can see why he looks like a crocodile. I can see why they say he kind of looks like a gorilla. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of both, I guess. It's a little mixed bag, but that's okay. You know, again, it's just having fun building these things and not knowing what you're going to get. Empty box. Again, um, we will properly recycle that. Um, and in here, we have another box. So while this is finishing up, and of course I didn't bring any towels down here. That was very smart. Not really. Um, I think this thing has been as rusted off as rusted off as possible. But again, you know what? For a Christmas, um, you know, for a uh, Christmas gift, um, I thought this was pretty awesome. 
So check it out here. Again, I'm trying to like talk here and I'm not looking in the monitor. All right, so I'm thinking this is pretty much done. I gotta make sure that the cat's not drinking out of here. It's all I need. Because all they see is just water. Um, let's find that tool again. But uh, let me think what else is going on. So if you are having fun, hey, put a comment. I appreciate it. I do get to read some of the comments. I respond back as fast as I can. Again, once I upload these videos, um, I go on to a different version of YouTube where I check where all my comments are so I can directly go back and forth. I mean, I could probably do it uh, through um, YouTube directly, but I've got a, it's called YouTube Studio, so on there. And that seems to be a little bit better. It uh, takes a little bit longer for me to get back in touch, but I do appreciate, oh, hey, just check this out. Just pff, ripped it right open. <laughs> wow, I must be getting strong. Maybe, maybe not. And here is the bottom, or the, here's the piece that we're supposed to destroy. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to actually destroy it because it's coming apart very quickly, very fast. Uh, but that's okay. But that was fun. Um, now the tool is supposed to release the robot like a key. So if you take a look in here and you, there's a little mechanism here. We're going to watch the mechanism release the robot. And you can always use this again to unscrew the robot. It's lefty loosey, righty tighty. We are going lefty loosey. And bingo, there it is. Your robot has been released. Um, and it's going to be leaking all over because the rust is not completely unrusted. So maybe he needs to go in the water for a little bit um, to finish off. Possibly. Got to get some towels. But that's okay. Hopefully you're having, you're having fun. Um, you know, again... Thank you, everyone, for just, you know, tuning in. And if you uh, do check out my um, Instagram, I appreciate that. If you do check out uh, my Facebook, that's right, the Facebook page, which is called the Dark Cosmic Universe. You know, if you're on Facebook, if you're not on Facebook, I'm not going to follow you. I mean, I'm not going to hound you or anything. It's got some uh, rock debris back here. There's actually nothing in there. Everything we need is in this bag here. But it's kind of cool, you know, just to have that little extra. Um... If we attach the robot, again, I know it needs more. Um, it definitely needs more uh, time to get rid of some of this rust. Uh, I know the, the people who follow um, Treasure X, sorry about that. Um, are like, dude, what are you doing? You're not doing it right. Well, I'm doing it the best I can under the circumstances. And trying to keep this as a uh, decent small video blank as opposed to the other one but hey people got through the other one oh my gosh i was so excited now i'm gonna need my own uh treasure x tools this would be the dark cosmic universe tools and uh here is a little uh power up i uh, think that's gonna go inside the chest here i'm probably building it incorrectly as most people but i'm gonna put the mask on here um should be able to just click right on there it is pretty cool I'm going to put the power-up um, device inside. This is, oh, so you get like an arc reactor. Very Iron Man-ish. Hey, I'll take it. Um, this goes onto the backpack here, or the back of the robot. What a, what a really, uh, I mean, grimacing looking uh, individual. Now, um, this particular um, character requires this so there's where its tail is kind of cool very menacing in its own particular way and i think we're missing oh and where is this part of its uh no, this is part of the, the weapon tray here i guess um so one goes on one here and it should be um one goes on the other so i'm gonna just put this on Oh, got the old dollar symbol there, right in your face, ah, and there goes off his face. Um, but this is pretty cool. Again, you know, the people from uh, uh, Treasure X, you guys, doing, you guys make a pretty good product. You know, definitely fun for uh, kids to build, the adults to build, everyone to build. Almost there. And last part of it, I believe it's supposed to go in here. Um, yeah, um, 
so again, and especially while well, with the Dark Cosmic Universe having a robotic theme going on with the planet Mazion and a certain Otto who was in control of all these robots. Um, yeah, it uh, definitely will go along with it. Very, you know, interesting character looking. I'm um, going to get a quick uh, close up here of what it looks like. Um, yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. Uh, again, it was an awesome Christmas gift, so thank you so much for that. Oh, yeah, he's got his shoulder pads that i got to put on, too. Um, but that's that. And while I'm doing that, you guys can uh, take a look around the Dark Cosmic Universe and uh, see some of the characters. I'll just move the Pepsi container. This place is going to be... Now, this, again, I do love this. This is going to be awesome. This might be, like, the centerpiece of uh, Planet Mazion. And, again, you know, that's the great thing about when you collect toys... One item may not go with a particular uh, brand that you get, but hold on to it because down the road you might find another reason or another purpose for these characters or, you know, the items. Oh, yeah, it's got like shoulder pads. So, uh, protecting. I just, again, you know, that, that whole look, you know, um, I like it. You know, again, it's got enough articulation for um, the kids to uh, enjoy and give them hours of play. At least I hope so. That's the intention with, uh, I feel, you know, hours of play, hours of developing storylines. Hey, that's where the whole Dark Cosmic Universe came out of. Um, anyway, so any, um, I want to say thank you very much um, and Happy New Year to everyone here at the Dark Cosmic Universe. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have my version of Dr. Isotope. Hey, little G.I. Joe reference here. But uh, this was not from this was not from GI Joe, but three and three quarter inch, and uh, definitely this character fits very very well with some updates and you know um, this is from well I'm like taxing my brain here um, I'm trying to remember what series this is from uh, it's again three and three quarter inch I'm trying to remember um, but it works great with the uh, Fisher Price guys so again. You know, just around, it's it's over four inches. Oh, there we go. This is over four inches. Here's your regular Fisher-Price figure. And, uh, you know, all these different accessories. That's what imagination is all about. My name is Abian Sabaz. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, happy New Year to you. Oh, here's my Argo guy. Got to have him for uh, the set because we're doing the mad scientist kind of thing. Um, thank you very much. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Thank you for... Um, subscribing and sharing and everything. And then again, if you have not checked my Instagram out, uh, avian underscore S A V A G E, I will leave a link in the, uh, I will link, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and if you're on Facebook, uh, look for the Dark Cosmic Universe. Swing on by, say hello, and uh, feel free to hang out in my playground. All right, everyone, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again. And thank you for all the good. Uh, get well wishes for me. I'm getting there. Talk to you soon. Bye.